Hello, 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 hello. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your Mindful Monday session. I hope you are well. And uh, if you can let me know, hopefully you can see the Q&A box is there. This time last week it went missing. If you can let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me OK, that would be delightful. Um, and then we can get started as we normally would on our Monday. Whether this is a relaxing start to your week, whether it's a, a little booster for your Monday. Let me know. Let me know if you're here. Brilliant. A few yeses and yeses. Fabulous. And if you want me to know who you are, then you just need to pop your name name in there. So I've got a couple of anonymouses saying yes and yes. Neil, thank you. Shah, lovely to have you here. Nick, great to have you here. Sarah, great to have you here. Beautiful. Mary, lovely to have you here. And Hayley, fantastic. So thank you so much for coming. I'd love for you just to reflect for a moment on why you're here today. So are you here just to relax? Are you here to slow down? Or are you here for another reason? And the reason I ask that is because sometimes we can go into a session with expectations. Many people come to mindfulness or meditation sessions because they think that it's going to help them with stress or anxiety or depression. So just reflect on why you're here today. And what I would encourage you to do is try as best as you can to let go of any expectations, anything that you want to gain from today's session, if you can just let go of that and observe what comes up, then that would be a good way to approach this next 30 minutes or so. Hello to everybody. Oh, there's so many people coming through. So hello to everybody. Um, yeah. Perfect. So we will start as we always start in defining mindfulness. And It always makes me laugh that I have to read this, but I do. I do have to read it. So mindfulness means maintaining a moment by moment awareness of our thoughts, our feelings, our bodily sensations. And our surrounding environment through a gentle and nurturing lens. Mindfulness also involves acceptance, meaning that we pay attention to our thoughts and feelings without judging them, without believing, for instance, that there's a right or a wrong way to think or feel in a given moment. When we practice mindfulness, our thoughts tune into what we're sensing in the present moment rather than rehashing the past or imagining the future. Something just 
jumped out at me there in the in the definition. And we often look at our thoughts and feelings. But what about the surrounding environment that you're in right now? Have a little look around. What can you see? What different textures can you see? What different colours can you see? What are the different available stimuli to you in this moment? Of course, my voice is one. And we often close our eyes, don't we? In fact, we always close our eyes. And that can be really helpful in terms of focusing our attention on our thoughts and feelings. But also one of the key things about mindfulness is noticing our surrounding environment as well. So how we then bring that understanding, how we bring the exploration when our eyes are closed, to the world around us, to the surrounding environment. This is very important. So let's get ourselves comfortable in whichever way or shape or form that takes for you. It can be sitting, it can be lying down and just slowly Softly close your eyes. Notice the change of your experience. It's something we often take for granted is how massively our experience of the world changes when we close our eyes. So notice that now. Notice any light that seems to find its way. And let's take a couple of deep breaths together. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. And keep breathing. What I want you to focus on is how slow can you draw your breath in? How deeply can you fill your lungs? And in exactly the same way, how controlled can you exhale? And how much can
can you completely expel all of that breath from your lungs? And you might find a little sharp intake of breath after doing that activity. The breath is absolutely the most reliable source absolutely the most reliable indicator that our attention is on this present moment And your breath has always been with you. It has always been with you. As it is with you now. And it will always be with you. In times of distress in times of discomfort. Know that you can always bring your attention to your breath. That you can always take a couple of breaths. Bring yourself back you can slow things down and you can relax I want you just to notice the big toe on your right foot. Just give it a little wave. Bring your attention to your right knee. your hips, to your chest and to your heart, to your neck. and just to the top of your head. The focus of today's session is kindness. And we did a session on kindness in Mental Health Awareness Week last year, but that was a long, long time ago. Some of you may have been there. What comes to your mind when you think of kindness?
Notice any thoughts. Notice any feelings. And we will have thoughts and we will have feelings throughout the session. And so the objective is not to ignore them. The objective is not to shut them out. We can just notice them. When I think of kindness, I think of love. Unconditional love. And unconditional love in action. I think of the kindness of children. Of sharing. And I think of how we can be a vehicle for kindness in the world. Can we be kinder to others? Can we be more compassionate? Can we show empathy? for our journey and the journey of others is different. Our knowledge and the knowledge of others is different. And sometimes we allow our expectations of life to cloud our view of life. We compare reality 
as it is in this moment, to our expectation of reality, how things should be, how people should act. And this is largely unhelpful. When we let go of those expectations, when we act from compassion, from kindness, from love, we can accept reality exactly as it arrives. So in this act, we can show kindness to others. but also we should never overlook being kind to ourselves, being patient with ourselves, being compassionate and loving to ourselves. You're doing so well. You really are. And that doesn't mean that we're going to get it right all the time. But again, what is right? What is wrong? It's a judgment that we place on ourselves, an expectation that we set for ourselves. Every single person is doing the very best that they can with the tools, with the knowledge that they have in this moment. There is no better. There is no worse. There is only what is.
So can you let go of those expectations that you've set for yourself even? Can you be kinder to yourself? More patient, more compassionate. The more we're able to do this for ourselves, the more we'll see the ripple effects in those around us, in the world around us. In a moment, I'm going to count down from five to one. When I reach one, just slowly bring your attention back to the room that you're in. Don't go rushing off anywhere. You know the drill by now. I'll keep this space for a few minutes. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Take your time. Welcome back. If you look for magic, If you look for joy, in the world around you, then you will, you will find it. If you look for pain, if you look for imperfection, then you'll probably find that too. So, What are you looking for? Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing that moment, those few moments with me. If 
you have any questions, if you have any comments, please do pop them in the box there. I love to hear from you guys. Somebody's asked whether these sessions are recorded. Yes, they are. So the link that brought you here will also take you to a recording of this session when it's finished. And um, you can absolutely access all of the other sessions using the various links. So if there are old links for old dates, then you can access those sessions using those same links. Elise, you're so welcome. Did you manage to calm down and find some internal peace, I wonder? Ellen says, thank you so much, Henry. Really enjoyed today's session. I haven't been to Mindful Monday before and I'm on a journey of self-discovery at the moment in an attempt to understand my anxiety. I have committed to every Monday in March as a start for a month to a healthier mind. Thanks. Ah, you're so welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Absolutely. Yes, some people fall asleep. So that's OK. I've many people, in fact, I believe, have fallen asleep during my sessions. And. I see that as a good thing. So don't worry about that. You're so welcome, Haley. You're so welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for for joining me, joining us. There was like 70 of us on the today session, so it's lovely to have all of your support and, and do come back. Please do. You're so welcome, Joss. You're so welcome, Mary. So enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. See if you can allow this feeling to float you throughout the day. And perhaps throughout the week as well. Have a lovely week and I look forward to seeing you, seeing you all next week. One day we will all meet up and we will do a session in person. And that will be amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you and uh, have a lovely week. <laughs>